Excuse me, hi Story Hour friends. Did you know that next Monday is National Napping Day? I think it's because we change our clocks over the weekend and everybody's extra sleepy. I'm going to read this book today. It's called The Napping House by Audrey Wood. The Napping House by Audrey Wood. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. So there's a granny sleeping, and that's a dog, and a cat, and a child. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. I don't think this looks very comfortable though. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse? on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. who scares the cat, Meow. who claws the dog, who thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed. Nobody looks too upset about that. Look at that granny, she's so happy. In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. That book made me tired. I'll see you next time, friends. Sweet dreams.